Hi, I'm Les Shaw, and this week I want to introduce our very first guest of the season, okay? Jacob Sharp. Jacob is my cousin. Your mother is my aunt, okay? Jacob and I actually ran into each other recently and found that we had some of the similar interests, science fiction. Favorite show is? Stargate SG-1. Now, I know it's going to end up being Stargate Atlantis after he ends up seeing that episode, but we definitely were into that. One of the things you also did is you signed up on our message board. Uh, how hard was it to get onto the message board? Uh, not that hard. You're very familiar with V Bolton, so you'd actually been on a V Bolton message board before, right? No. You hadn't, so it's your first time. Yeah. So you went onto the board, he registered. What got me was he registered, he posted his own messages, a lot of the stuff about Stargate Atlantis or Stargate SG-1, okay? What you told me earlier that you're missing season nine of so far. Yeah, we thought that it started a week uh, after it did start. So, we so like everybody else, you have a time management issue. That's what it is all about. What are we doing here today? Jacob is our specialist when it comes to Christmas wish lists. I asked you a couple questions earlier, Jacob, and you're going to fill us in right now because we've got some neat stuff we're going to show you at the beginning segment. We have a PSP that you had a chance to play around with this a little yep. bit earlier. This is actually brought to us by a friend, John. Now, I'm going to have to send you some pictures of John because I took pictures of them holding this up. Very gentleman, the gentleman was nice enough to let us use this to show it on the show. You brought something else in, Jacob. What do you uh, have here for us? Nintendo DS. I'm going to actually quickly take a quick look at that. Now, this is your Nintendo DS. I'm going to make yep. sure we're on the lights. Open up the lid for me there. Yep. Okay, so now this is the Nintendo DS. This allows you gameplay. Is it in color? Can you launch into color yep. for me? Let's turn it on. I'll get a game in it. Okay, so what kind of games just, do we got here? This is a demo for that cut that came with it when I pull, got it. Pull it to my camera, actually. For Metroid Prime. Okay, all right, let's Masters. pull up that game. Now, when you're looking at the two of them, we'll actually come back to my camera, or the cameras that we're using here. You're looking at the Nintendo DS. Yep. Pretty straightforward gameplay. Let's get the game launched into there. Yep. And I want to actually show... And the, th and the little ahead. stylus thing. I want to show somewhere. actually the front of this. Where is the stylus? The stylus should it, be here? Yeah. And the stylus be. is where? I don't know. Okay, because this is a Nintendo DS system. And it's all touchscreen. So it actually has a little stylus in the back of yeah. it that allows you to play the game. Okay, am I holding this up right? Am I giving you guys the ability to actually show it? There's a newer version of this out right now that actually comes with what? Uh, Mario Kart DS. Mario Kart DS, because all of these have the ability, if the game has the ability to sign on wirelessly yeah. to a wireless router, which a lot of people have set up now for their own systems, uh, it won't allow you to browse the internet. There may be some software that will allow you to do that, but it will allow you to use the Mario Kart, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, online. Online, so you can actually play people around the world, different locations. You don't really know where they are. There's not really a buddy list type setup on I, this. I think there actually is. Uh, on this Nintendo no, DS, for, go ahead. For the Mario Kart, I think there is. Uh, he has something called a friend ID, if I'm not mistaken. Now this is done in color. Okay, yep. it's backlit. You can play us. How long does the battery normally last on one of these? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't but usually play it. Two hours, three hours. How's, what's the longest stint you've actually sat down and played this for? Two hours. Two hours? Bat and I don't think the battery was out yet, though. All right, so we're looking at pretty good battery life. Graphics on this compared to the PSP that we're going to show most likely aren't comparable. I'll let you try and launch that game so you can show us a game here. Now, John brought this in, and he left the carrying case, which is the Logitech carrying case, for the PSP. Now, I'm wondering how much we're going to have here to be able to show. What I like about the PSP is that, one, you get a nice bright screen, so it's a nice backlit screen. I want to actually click on back. Plus, it allows you to surf on the Internet. Let me pull up our website. So what camera am I going at right here? I'm going at Joe's camera, actually. I don't know if you can make out there, but there's our logo for the computer mechanics. I'll go off to our camera here because there's actually a location, because I'm actually surfing on the Internet on this. Now, yeah, I logged in on that earlier when I was... It allows you to log in with the account. I want to actually go to our camera. How am I doing here for viewing? I want to try and get a good view of that. So you'll notice that I'm actually surfing. Now I keep... Hit that white button on the very top of this one for me, Jacob, on the right-hand side button. There we go. Click on the white button at the top. It'll take me back a page. That's what I'm after. 
Now this is all done uh, surfing wirelessly because I can now scroll down to the website and see how it goes from place to place on selections. This is actually our message board. People are talking in there right now. But if I click down here to the Rogers section of it and just move the mouse right over to here, I need you to click on the X. Can you click on the X for yep. me? Notice it'll take us off to Rogers' website. It's not really fast. I'm trying to get away from some of the lights here. But it's doing it all wirelessly. There's a little green light there in the corner. And what we're going to see on Rogers' website is our logo. And there should be two pictures of us. Look at the clarity on those photos. Absolutely amazing. And this is surfing wirelessly on a Sony PSP. Any idea what they cost? Uh, well, I'm going to launch this off the camera. Back to us. Sony PSP runs uh, $299. I thought it was like uh, 300 Pro Well, actually, that's what yeah. 299 is going to turn out to be. So you're looking mm -hmm. at $299 for this one. How much is your DS, your uh, Nintendo DS? About $200 when I got it. Don't know what it is now. Now, you said you got this one for your birthday? Yeah, May. Okay, so now we're sitting here talking about what you want for Christmas. So I assume that you sat down one day and actually wrote out a list for your mom? And your dad? Not no, not really. I wrote you it. You just told them? No, when my uh, mom was uh, cri Christmas shopping out of the Sears catalog, Okay. I wrote a list out of stuff from there, and then after that I just kind of wrote down a couple of extra things. So now we all know where most of your Christmas gifts are going to come from, and as we're talking about the Nintendo DS, now we're going to have to flip it's back over to uh, the other button there so we can get the computer output again. This game right here, and we're going to actually have this go to the camera, or your camera. Yeah, so we'll flip that one over. There we go. We're back out putting the computer system. This is the Nintendo DS. The, the brightness, can you actually increase the backlit ability? So can you increase the brightness of that? Uh, I'd have to restart it. So I think you can somewhere in options. What game are we playing here, then, on your Nintendo uh, DS? It's a demo for Metroid Prime Hunters. Okay. Which, uh, when was your birthday that you got uh, this? Was it just this year, last year? Uh, this year, May 8th. Is it getting a lot of gameplay? Are you finding that you're using that on a regular basis? And not too recently, because I've uh, I had all these games for a while. Okay. But, like, when I first got... Out of all three games you have there, which one do you find the best? Which one do you find yourself going back to regularly? I like this one. Okay, let's show that to the camera. We're going to... We'll hold it up there steady. What is this game and tell us a little bit about the gameplay? You gotta keep it's it uh, on to them. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Turn based strategy game. Alright. So uh, what are you a villain? Tell us a bit about the game. Give us a good review uh, of it. I don't really know. But what what do you like about the game? The gameplay. Okay. Good strategy. Good and strategy it, from game. From the other game, this is the third one in the series. Okay. I have the second one. They've added a lot of new units to it. All right, and so there's another version of this. Yeah. For Christmas, you want something for your Nintendo DS. What are you yeah. after? Uh, show, let me show the face go. plate again. We're looking at this area right here. Yeah. Okay, what are we going to throw on there? What's uh, it called? I think a uh, skin or a wrap for it. Okay. The, that's the big thing nowadays, is actually wrapping your equipment and taking that and making it look different based on what kind of wrap you put on it. Now I'm actually going to bring up on the computer the wrap that you're after. This is what you're hoping yeah. for Christmas so that you can put this on your Nintendo DS. Yeah. So it's going to come like a little sticker. Any idea what that's going to cost you to actually wrap your Nintendo DS and make uh, it look cool with flames? I think it costs the uh, costs about uh, $9 on there and shipping and handling because uh, coming to Canada. But that's in America, and American yeah. dollars. So you're probably looking about $24 allows you to mm -hmm. actually do what they call kind of a case wrap on your Nintendo DS. Yep. Out of all the things that you're asking for Christmas, are most of them technology oriented? Yes. What's your big thing on your wish list that you want for Christmas? Um, money to save up for the PS3. Jacob's going to go for the PS3 rather than the Xbox. 360, so when we get back, we're going to talk a little bit about that. Everybody knows somebody in a parade. Odds are you do too. Tune in to find out. Don't miss the bright lights, costumes, floats, marching bands, and all the entertainment. The Whitby Santa Claus Parade, Friday, December the 23rd at 9 p.m. on Rogers Television. 
Everybody knows somebody in a parade. Odds are you do too. Tune in to find out. Don't miss the bright lights, costumes, floats, marching bands, and all the entertainment. The Bowmanville Santa Claus Parade. Saturday, December 17th at 1 p.m. on Rogers Television. Every year in Canada, over 60,000 children are reported missing. They disappear because they can't relate, because they can't cope, because they don't have roots. And without support from family, friends, and teachers, they can begin to feel invisible. Don't let a teen vanish before your eyes. Prevention is action. Contact Child Find for more information. Rogers Television continues to bring you the best local programs with brand new episodes of your favorite shows. He can be funny, witty, entertaining, and he definitely knows the right questions to ask. Greg Rist interviews local personalities, bringing you their stories, goals, and inspirations. Meet interesting and successful people living in Durham Region. One-on-one, -on -one, weekdays at 2.30 p.m., only on Rogers Television. back again. Now, it was good to open up the show with my cousin Jacob, mm -hmm. right? An extremely intelligent uh, guy. He actually came over, he played the Xbox, and yeah. when we left, he was talking about he is actually focusing on getting a PlayStation 3 from Sony. Nice. I, you know, I was quite impressed that he's actually not wanting to dive into the Xbox 360. Well, that's the thing. Your other nephew was here on the weekend, Jeremy. Yeah. And uh, he was, he, well, he's saving his dough for an Xbox 360. The way it works with the Xbox 360, I mean, you have to be on a different plan if you haven't heard about this yet. Mm -hmm. Big release by Microsoft. They're saying that Microsoft actually loses $100 per unit. Mm -hmm. and the reason being is that they can grab you. You know, like, because basically once you got their Xbox system at home, even though they've lost money, they're going to make money from the people that write the programs to play on these things. Oh, of course. So over the of length course. of their life, they're going to yeah. get that $100 back in tenfold. Yeah. Oh, okay? definitely. It's, it's for the long haul, for sure. Why are we not diving in and running out and getting an Xbox 360? Because we've heard of an issue. We had actually heard of these issues before they released it. Yes. That there were... And that's why I wasn't lined up at the big store to get my Xbox no, last Tuesday morning. No, but actually morning. somebody was and they actually yes. posted on our website. If you go to www.computermechanics.com, mm -hmm. it's about a website called smashingxbox360.com. <laughs> yeah. What this guy did is set up a website and had everybody donate money to him so that he could go out and buy an Xbox 360. Just After he purchased it, he would walk back. outside and take a big sledgehammer to it. Yeah. Okay. I, it's kind of a funny video. You, uh, it's a, you know, whatever turns your crank. Well, I thought I it was funny know. because you see all these kids that have been waiting up in like six, three, you know, three, six o'clock in the morning, and all of a sudden this guy comes out and does it. I so, went, so how do you think that makes them feel? You know, a shock on their face, kind of like a gag, uh, gag joke. Okay. We're talking about the Xbox 360. You can't yes. go anywhere. What is the go issue? Ahead. What is the issue that we've heard about? Some people are stating that they can't even get through an entire race game without because it's overheating, overheating, or locking up, yeah. or crashing. Yeah. You know, like when and Chris. You know, I'm not surprised. You know, you got this small little case, like yes. tiny little case, and the power that they've jammed into this thing is really phenomenal. Absolutely. Like, you know, the video. Okay. processor, it's phenomenal. All right, you know, I just actually did a quick search for Xbox. We'll go off to the computer and you can see yeah. some pretty neat pictures of the Xbox 360. I'll try and bring it up in big screen. Of course, I'm not going to get a big, big picture there's, of there's this. There's one's taking off like the shuttle. You know, yeah, I mean, they're talking <laughs> about the Xbox themselves. Yeah. And the Xbox 360, I need a big picture of this. Mm -hmm. That's probably That's the bad. best photo I have That's right now. Bad. I don't like the case. I don't like the fact that it stands upright. Upright, yeah. You know, I, I've never been a big fan of CD spinning sideways. Uh, to and, me, that doesn't do it. And not only that, where do you fit that into your entertainment center? The wireless on Standing this had up. better be flawless because <laughs> I've actually had wireless controllers that we're not pleased with. All of a sudden, the character will start moving when nobody's touching the yeah, wireless controller. Yeah, you're not controller. touching it. He's running off to the right. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the other big thing about the Xbox 360 is it's expensive. You're looking at $299 for a basic Xbox 360. Doesn't come with a hard drive. Comes with one controller, 
I don't even think it comes with a game. I have to verify and that. No, uh, no HD cables. It does not come no with high, high definition, definition cables. cables. You get the regular AV cables right. to plug into your right. system. Now, if you want all that stuff, you got to give them an extra hundred bucks. Too, yeah. is, isn't it? Ah, uh, isn't it four ninety nine? I I thought it was three ninety nine. You get. I think uh, it's four ninety nine. Well, you know, it depends on where you buy it, but I, I was under the impression it was a three ninety nine purchase. You now get a twenty gig hard drive as well as you get the HD TV connection. If you can get it for three ninety nine, you have my authorization to spend over a hundred bucks. Call me. Call me on the phone. This time. Uh, nine oh five. Okay. <laughs> this time. The, the you other can issue with it too is that bucks. my understanding is you have to buy a hundred dollar package to make your previous Xbox game somewhat compatible somewhat with your current compatible? Xbox three sixty. How does it? How is the okay. game somewhat compatible? I didn't want an isn't. Xbox originally. When it came down to getting a gaming system, I said no Xbox. I have right. a PC. I'm a happy camper. Right. Okay. So why I don't I need an Xbox? <laughs> so I well, you did. One. You yeah. did. And that's because our friend Chris talked us into it. And his biggest argument to me was, the neatest thing about the Xbox is that every Xbox is built the same. Mm -hmm. They have all the same video cards. Mm -hmm. And when you get a game and put it in one Xbox, you get exactly the same gameplay as you would when you put it into another Xbox. Right. Okay? Yes. That was a good selling feature. And then, yep. then he would push games, and we would play the games and like the games. So originally, we became a two Xbox family. We did, yeah. And that allowed us then yeah. to take our Xboxes and link them together. Mm -hmm. You play on the high definition TV. I'll mm -hmm. play on my computer monitor. Right. And we can basically connect virtually and go into a fantasy world, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yep. The problem that was I the have excuse, anyway. that was the excuse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> problem I have is the selling argument I originally had for the original Xbox is gone, gone. because gone. now the Xbox 360 comes in different flavors. Yeah. And every flavor one has certain abilities, one has other yeah. abilities. Yeah. It's I mean, going they're, to they're change even, gameplay. They're even selling these things with high definition TVs and surround sounds all Put together. together. You, know what? you know, we're talking like thirty-five hundred dollars. I have like, been no. there. I know the graphics are amazing but yeah. we had our Xbox mod it which mm -hmm. means we actually took it apart we put a hard drive in a larger hard drive right we have the ability to play video and, and media mm -hmm. off our Xbox it's become our media center yes I don't think I need an Xbox 360 in fact I'm not running out for one right now I'm going no. to wait I can't say they're going to come down in price because as you and I talked about Microsoft says they're losing a hundred bucks a shot on these no, things. No but I mean if you're going to go out and you're going to spend 500 bucks on a game console yeah it ain't going to freeze up on you Right, it's not going to overheat, yeah. and and you know y you're going to sit down and you're going to be able to play this thing for hours on end without a problem. Well, Jacob brought up at the very beginning the PlayStation Three, which mm -hmm. I guess there are actually pictures of what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, I think that's and that's one of them. That actually shows you what this box is supposed to look like. Yeah, PS3 Power, it's calling itself. There's actually a full. Let me just move this up. Mm -hmm. All right. There's actually a, f a website dedicated and, to this. And again, it's a stand-up unit, no? Stand-up wireless. Yeah. That looks like more like a, a boomerang than a, a controller to yeah, me. Yeah, it's kind of weird. You know, there's all your connections in the back. Oh, wait a second. Now there's a picture of it laying down. So I, maybe Well, you know, I think you can actually lay down the Xbox 360 as well. I hope so, because but it's not going to fit in our in our television cabinet. <laughs> it's just, you know, it, it, And that's it's not what these fit. things are going to end up going into, is mm -hmm. in your media well, center. Of course. Part of your living right room. Of your television. I had a lady call me on the telephone, and she said, I just bought an Xbox 360. I would like to know if you can tell me where I can get a power cord. Oh, yeah. And I'm thinking... The Xbox 360, it just came out like yeah. earlier this they don't week. Have a problem with power so you must cords. have stood in line for like 4,000 hours, yeah. right? And yeah. uh, her dog ate the power yeah. cord on this. <laughs> so like she's going to be the very old. first person oh. to actually call Microsoft and say, I need a power cord, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, here's the deal when it comes to power cords, and this goes for cameras and everything. If you have the ability to contact the original manufacturer, get the power cord Definitely. from them. Definitely. Don't go out and play up these adapters that are generic because, I mean, you can start to blow things up. Yes. And, you know, even though you save 14 to 
to sixty dollars, you've yep. destroyed your device. Oh yeah, one wrong number on the voltage or the amperage, and pssst, one gone. of the big things Deb and I have realized where people lose their adapters for their routers or their notebook, yeah. they just go plug any old thing oh, in notebooks there. Notebooks all the time, all the time. You know, when you turn on your computer and you smell smoke, I would recommend turn the thing off as quickly as possible and unplug <laughs> I it. I recommend pull a power. Do out not of it. go to bed. Do not leave your computer going. <laughs> How many people have we spoken to that have turned on their computer and poof goes their oh, power? Oh yeah. Oh, it's you happened know? here. It's happened to us numerous times. It, and it goes off like a gunshot. It scares the heck out of you. Again, Christmas is all about family, and yeah. I want to really welcome Jacob for filling in for mm -hmm. us at the very beginning yeah. of the show. Yeah. When we come back, we're actually going to take a look at what types of things today off our message board. Yep. Questions. questions. We're going to take a look at questions and try and answer some of the questions that are available on the board. Yep. And we're going to take a look at a website that we've probably looked at in the past. We want something free for you to go off and use, mm -hmm. as well as you can buy an account, which we do have an account for, which is pogo.com. Mm -hmm. We're also going to take a look at simslots.com, a website you can go and play some flash slot games. Yep. Without no money involved. No money involved. Yep. That's no the big involved. thing here. Yep. I had a lady come in, and uh, I want to kind of mention the senior center on John Street. Okay. Yes. I had a lady come Simco in today. Our center and John. She walked up to me. She said, "She goes, do you know how old I am?" And the lady, I think, was in her early 80s. Yeah. Her son had said, "You can't learn to use a computer." Let me tell we you. She oh, yes, is can. wrong. Mm -hmm. When we come back, we're going to tell, no matter how old you are, how to learn how to use a computer. In a time when professional hockey players were not eligible in international competition, nations sent their best amateur teams to compete on the world stage. The Whitby Dunlops were a dominant force in Canadian hockey during the late 50s. Led by team captain Harry Sinden, the Dunlops graduated nine players to the NHL ranks from their 1957 roster. It was in 1957 when the Dunlops swept the Spokane Flyers in the Allen Cup Finals. The victory earned Whitby a trip to Oslo, Norway for the 1950 World Hockey Championships. Team Canada dominated the tournament, outscoring opponents 82-6 on route to a world title. The Belleville McFarlands represented Canada the following year, bringing home another world championship. It would take Canadian teams another 44 years after 1959 to win back-to-back -back titles. Determine what you want, discover yourself, and clear your blocked energy. Host Moira Sutton interviews experts offering you tips on how to break through. Success Breakthroughs, Tuesdays at 4 only on Rogers Television. Your world right now, only on Rogers Television, Durham Region. back again mm -hmm. okay one of the one of the tools to mention uh, I mentioned this earlier in the show if we come off to the computer system we're looking at our website the computer mechanics dot com mm -hmm. it's just a big place that people go and ask computer questions yeah, and they hang recipes out, they and talk everything and yeah all kinds of things when you're on a computer system and you want to see more mm -hmm. I mean you got the toolbar up here okay right. you've got a status bar down here again that F11 key is so handy to go to full screen mm -hmm. you get rid of all the extra stuff around there give you more reading room for your computer system. I don't system. have to do anything. The F11 buster steps bit. on the keyboard and I got full screen. So. We, have, we have cat lying on the <laughs> oh, keyboard. Yes. Now, when it comes down to the message board, one of the things that I always like to check is how fast our our speed is, mm -hmm. okay? One of the places our you can do that. speed in what? Internet? Well, how fast our internet is. Okay. You know, it, it's like the new, newest envy of the world or the yeah, population right. is yeah. how fast is my yeah. internet connection? Yeah. How fast can I download yeah. things off the internet? Well, ours is pretty quick. We've got the extreme. Well, one of the websites you can go to, it's a website which for another cable company, actually, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, no cross-competition happening here. You can go to a website. All you do is you type in speedtest.kojiko.net. Okay. That is spelled C-O-G-E-C-O -E dot net. All right. Speedtest.net. Now, mm -hmm. if I do that, what we're going to do here is we're going to actually do a, a, a test, and I'm going to click on Start. 
this is actually going to look at my connection now mm -hmm. and tell me how fast I can download as well as how fast I can upload. And what it does is it comes back with some numbers mm -hmm. um, and there's a big thread on our message board called Speed Test. Huge. You know, it's <laughs> yeah, like gigantic. We're on like yeah. page 200 <laughs> and something where yeah. you can go and compare your speeds to other people. Yeah. All the way I like, like it is it actually comes speed. up, it comes back to broadband.reports mm -hmm. and it shows us and how fast. And they've been fast, forever. Yes. speed tests, they've been around forever. It shows us how fast we're downloading. Mm -hmm. We're actually just downloading under five megabytes. That's pretty nice. Our upload rate is actually, or our upload rate, so our download rate is just 4774, mm -hmm. just under 5. Yes. Our upload rate is 797. That's pretty good. You know, it, it's funny because when we first started out, originally our, our upload was, what, 192? It was. And yeah. the reason being is because of this little ball that's bouncing no. around. No. The reason being is that we actually, when we found out we could go faster on our cable connection, we, ordered we're, it. We're using, we needed it. We <laughs> yeah, had we to have it. it. Yeah. So we went with the extreme package and yeah. get as much yeah. that we possibly and it's, can. Yeah, it's a 5 meg service. The benefit of it is if you are going to watch videos online or upload things, online. One of the questions off our message board today um, was, I want to help my sister and uh, they want to send my, I want to send my sister a 448 megabyte file mm -hmm. and using MSN to send the file from her location to her sister's location is 48. slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I get a big file from one location to another location fast? I thought about this and I thought about a couple FTP? ways. Uh, well, FTP is probably too hard for some people. Okay. FTP, you'd end up having to upload it to one location to a, yeah. and download it to another yeah. location. Yeah. So you're really doubling you're, the amount of time. Yeah, you're putting it on a server somewhere. It really depends on how big the file is in a sense of how big the file really is. Mm -hmm. With Windows XP, if you take your mouse to, say, an Excel file, and if I look at that Excel file, this is a quote, okay? Mm -hmm. This isn't like 48 megabytes, no, but it's, pretty it's small. more like six, 61 KB, yeah, right? it's pretty small. If I right mouse button on that and go compress, okay, so send to compress file, mm -hmm. I'll do that right here and I'll end up with another one. Now if I right mouse button, you'll notice it's no longer 46 KB mm -hmm. or 61 KB, it's yeah, now 4 it's KB. Four. That, that's pretty good compression. So what I'm saying is, if you're using Windows XP, right mouse button on it, go send to, mm -hmm. compress that file. You might be surprised it'll go down from 46 megabytes right. down to zero. But you have to keep in mind, to too, like that, that's a RAR file, it a is. WinRAR file. But if the it's person a, receiving the file has to have the program to yet expand well, it again. Actually, it's a Windows XP. All they have to have is the ability to open up with Win Windows XP yeah. Express. But what I'm saying is uh, if they've got Windows 98, they'd have to have Winrar. Then they'd have to have WinRAR or WinZip. <laughs> yep. www.slimslots.com Slim is where you have to go to. We'll see you next time. Television Viewer Response Line at 905-436-3500 or visit our website with your comments. You sculpted your body with winning with weights, but now it's time for you to shape up and lose weight. Host and certified fitness instructor Bernice Pierce guides you through effective workouts using aerobics. Winning with aerobics, Wednesdays at 3.30 p.m. only on Rogers Television. With escalating gas prices, maintenance and repairs, cars can be a major monthly expenditure. On AutoTalk, we show you how to save money and get the most mileage from your vehicle. AutoTalk, only on Rogers Television. Would you like some orange juice, sweetheart? Hey, can I have some cereal?